Hey, what's up guys? Sonia here. I am at Carolo 49 Brewery in Vancouver and I'm just finishing up our Friday Q&A session. I had a great response so I needed to make another video and I figured what better way to do it than with some post-dried brewskis. So uh, we're going to pick up where we left off and it was actually about hydration and I had joked that beer is the best way to hydrate, which it is. But uh, Tom Condon said, can I talk about nutrition and hydration on the bike for races between three and six hours? Now it really kind of depends on if you're a sugar burner or a fat burner and you can do some, some testing to determine that. Personally, I use Goo Roctane. Um, that gets me through, it's a gel. And I like using Kind bars or anything that tastes good. I like the Mojo bars, the cherry ones, but basically you want to do some gels, some water, and it gets a lot more complicated than that. But you have to do some experimentation and see what you like. Advice on mental training, I think I breezed through this one really, really quickly, saying that you just need to move forward and you need to be, have a good attitude and just decide that you're going to finish because it will get hard, you probably will want to give up, and you have to know that those moments of dark times will pass. It is a real ebb and flow with your brain, and just knowing it will pass and focusing that nothing is permanent is a great way to do it. Asthmatic pros. I don't really know any asthmatic pros, and this is a question about Leadville and coming up to race at altitude. I, I don't really know how to help with that one. I've lived at altitude my whole life, now I live at a thousand feet. If it were me going to race Leadville, I would go seven to ten days before at least to try and train. And if you can't do that, you should go as close to the race as possible, if not the day before. People tend to do that. And I'll just spit, because I'm drooling over my beer. This is a Dirty Filthy IPA, Parallel 49's newest IPA. It's like a pine in a cup. I plan on buying a lot of six packs of this to take home. Alright, Scott Linder he wants to know about my pacing strategy in races. I tend to just ride my own race. I don't try and get out front early. I don't try and hang back on purpose. I just ride the pace that I know because I'm more of a diesel. So I just pick my pace. I say, can I ride this pace for however long the race is? And I wait and I don't run any matches. So that's my recommendation. Favorite dog breed? My favorite dog breed, I've never owned a dog because I travel too much, but I would say probably a yellow lab or a golden retriever. I like dogs that love me and that can be rowdy and have fun. Um, ultimate nutrition and preparation again for the fur race. I need to do a blog post on that for you guys. Best recovery beer. Hey! Whoa, that was a party foul. This is a milk stout. I did stouts. I did IPAs. Those would be my go to's for my favorite beer, but definitely IPA with Cascade Hops. It's always a win. How do I keep weight off in the winter? This guy, Jay, wants to know. Well, to keep weight off in the winter, you have to reduce the amount of beer you're drinking. Not drink too much every day, but you can still have some. Um, basically, you're going to be riding and have less activity, so you want to have your caloric, caloric intake be a bit less. Maybe stop eating dairy, that might help. Favorite trail of all time? Man, that is a tough question. I don't know the answer to that. It used to be in Colorado, but I think my favorite trail of all time is probably here in D.C. Probably, in, I would say Squamish is my favorite place to ride. Um, plans to go to Australia. Yes, next year I'm hoping to race the Crocodile Trophy, maybe something else. Douglas Vlad, have I raced with Rebecca Lash? Yes, she's a great competitor, really a wonderful person to race with, and I really enjoy it. Um, take on current session IPAs. I don't really do a bunch of session IPAs. Normally I just go for, I go big or go home with IPAs. And one more, how do I keep from getting burned out? Kenny Mazza has been racing and riding for 16 years. Need to keep start. I would say put your computer away, put your heart rate monitor away, go out on your bike, ride for fun, pick your favorite trail. Maybe ride by yourself if you feel like you might be faster or slower and comparing yourself to your friends. Just go out, have fun, and that's the most important thing about riding your bike. Otherwise, you will burn out if you put too much pressure on yourself. But that'll wrap it up for this week's Q&A session. I will be gone next week racing in Brazil, so hang on, and uh, actually the next two weeks. So hang on to those questions. Maybe come back and uh, check me out on Facebook. I'll be uploading some stuff from the race. See you guys later. Cheers!